A few months ago, I started having this annoying problem while working on Zeta FTP server where it wouldn't be able to bind to certain network ports to be able to listen for incoming connections with an error that said cannot bind because permission denied, uh, which is weird because if another, if another program was using those ports, it would be the ports, the error would be ports are in use. So, you know, why is permission denied all of a sudden? And it turned out that the reason was because I had installed Hyper-V virtualization, ironically, to test the TFTP server on other setups. Hyper-V or virtualization software allows you to install multiple operating systems on the same machine so that you can test in different configurations. Uh, anyway, the side effect of doing this, Hyper-V seems to reserve some port ranges and it seems to be semi-random because sometimes it would reserve the ports that I had served, the ports that I had set CTFTP server to use as the data connections, and sometimes it wouldn't. Either way, it's like really annoying. Oh, by, by the way, if you're using CTFTP server, you shouldn't have this problem because this port reservation happens rather late during the Windows startup process, whereas when CTFTP server is running as a service, so it starts up early enough that it can grab the ports before this happens. Uh, for me though, I'm working on ZTFTP server, so I have to stop and start the server. Um, and that's why this ends up happening. So how do you solve it? Well, I tried multiple solutions, most of which didn't work. The only one that works reliably for me is on this Stack Overflow page. Uh, no, it's not the, the one that's considered the accepted answer. That one didn't work for me. You have to scroll down a little bit further, down a little bit further to this one, which basically says what you do is you start up a shell window as admin user. You have to have admin access. And then you stop WinNet and start WinNet. So net, stop, WinNet, push enter, then net, start, WinNet. And that'll clear it. It works every time. But it's not a perfect solution. Ideally, I would like to have something that just says, look, Hyper-V, just don't touch these ports, please. Leave them alone. Uh, I couldn't find one that would do that. If somebody knows how to do that, please let me know. Uh, because this one, you have to do it, well, I don't have to do it every time, because as I say, sometimes it doesn't reserve those ports, and sometimes it does, but every time it happens, it, it happens again regularly, then I have to go in and do this. So, you know, yeah, if, if you know how I can tell it to permanently don't touch these ports, please tell me. Otherwise, this is the uh, solution that I recommend, although you can try the other, uh, other suggestions on that Stack Overflow page, which I will leave a link to below, below the video. That's it for now. I will see you next time.